I smurfed against champs to prove they deserve their rank. My goal is not just to beat up on lower ranked players, but there are a few players in my comments who write stuff like, Luke, you don't know what it's like to be champ. You know, you're GC3, you're playing with pros or whatever, and you make all these tips videos saying it's easy to rank up, but you, Luke, don't know what it's like to be hard stuck. I was sitting there reading these comments and I thought, you know what? Maybe you're right. So today, to test it, I assembled a lobby of diamonds and champs that I will be intentionally smurfing on for your benefit. My goal is to show you that with the right strategies, you know, even if you up your mechanics or you make mistakes like I definitely will, you can still win games at Diamond and even Champ. Not just that, but I hope that by the end of this video, you'll see that if you play the map like a Grand Champ plays the map, winning at Champ or below is not just doable, but you can even do it with a teammate who is significantly worse than everyone else. So on my team, I have a peak Diamond 2 player and on the opposing side will be two Champ 2. This means we're at a roughly 600 MMR disadvantage if I don't play better than the lobby. Maybe I'll just get totally stomped and the YouTube commenters will be right. Now that I say it, that might be a bit awkward if it happens, but that makes it more fun, right? Anyways, let's just see. This is episode number one of the educational Smurf. If they're ready, we'll join blue team and I'm just going to be calming my thoughts as we play it. Now, lesson number one, before we even get into the game, thing you need to know when you're playing from a disadvantage like this, at least rank, you need to be the rock. So I'm going to try to play as safe as possible. For example, my teammate loses kickoff. I need to buy time for him to rotate back post. And only then are we taking this ball out and try to get the ball downfield, right? As well, I do not want to be the one... Um, I do not want to be the one committing upfield. So notice how I instantly leave that ball and let my teammate go first. And he just peeks. Nice shot, Adrian. If you're the higher rank, and or let's just say you think you're better than people at your rank, don't be leaving your teammates back alone. That's rule one. Nice shot from Adrian. I'll, I'll play this. I'm not going to speed flip. Oh, I accidentally speed flipped. Uh, that's all right. I'll pick up boost here. I'm assuming you don't have great mechanics. I'm just going to go straight for a shot. At least apply some pressure and notice how i'm always looking for demos while i rotate out um that's a big thing that you need to start doing as you rank up because champs will often play the center of the field they'll kind of sit around easy demo opportunity so we're gonna rotate up adrian's going for some insane mechanics um but see this is what diamonds do they often commit which is fine i'm gonna try not to push too far up into the corner um and i'm just gonna stay near the net in case they uh case they produce something hold power side to recover and i want my teammate to go beautiful adrian goes put the shot on net and now adrian's behind me so i'm gonna get back right because i don't want to challenge upfield while my uh while my teammates back if we get scored on there that's my fault but uh luckily adrian makes a good save and now we can take it off the wall we can maybe use the neutral jump here to go for a pop go for a flip reset probably shouldn't be doing that I i'm not sure if i should get too mechanical uh but just gonna take a low 50 and get behind once again if we're on offense I love my lower ranked teammate going for the, the aggro stuff because anybody can flip reset. Not anybody can shadow defend, believe it or not. Quick side bit, if you want to join a private lobby against me, everyone you see in this video was actually recruited from the official coaching program of this channel called the Grand Champ Bootcamp. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Grand Champ Bootcamp is the most comprehensive coaching program in Rocket League designed to take gold through champ ranked players up to Grand Champ in just 90 days or less. New students who enroll will take a benchmark test to evaluate their skills, and based on that, they'll be assigned a private coach for a truly personalized 12-week coaching experience. They're literally jackhammering the apartment above me. They're, can you hear this? They're literally we're just going to record anyway. So if you're hard stuck and are inspired to get a coach after this, or you just want to get the ping when I'm setting up private lobbies and doing recordings like this, DM the Grand Champ Bootcamp Discord account with keyword Luke so they know you came from me and you can learn more about coaching. I'll have their Discord first link in the description below. That's keyword Luke. Back to the video. Let's see. We should be fine here. Let Adrian go first. Just play back. This is in the corner. So like no point in pressuring. We should be completely fine. Almost a little scary, uh, but we're fine. I knew we'd be fine the whole time. 
Adrian's upfield, so I'm going to play backboard, and I'm not going to push up too far because I want to be able to get in the way if it does come center. It does. This is fine. I'm just playing for low 50s here. Recovering, right? Controlling boost, and now if my teammate doesn't get beat here, we can get off defense. All right, just don't push up too far, and we're fine. I'm going to stay on the ball. He hits it up the wall. Nice. They keep just tossing the ball, so we'll be totally fine. He's going to get corner boost, so I'll play back post, and we should be able to get off a of defense here. Because they're not rotating back quick enough, we just get a completely open net. Once again, notice how I'm not challenging here. I'm just buying time for my teammate. Um, unfortunately, my teammate pushes front post, and we may get scored on here. No, he recovers, so we're fine. But notice how I'm not, like, I'm not eager to challenge. Like, I'm not super scared of their their attacks. Um, especially if my teammate's in front, I'm, I'm just buying as much time as I can, right? I want him to go, letting him go, waiting. Because if he gets flicked, I'll pick up the slack. But if I get flicked, bad things might happen. Once again, if they're going to keep hitting it into the corner, this is fine. Just control the corner boost. I, I shouldn't have got demo there. If we get scored on, that's my fault. As long as I dodge demo there, we're fine. But uh, that, that's absolutely my bad. This guy's hitting it off wall. And he's also lost control, so I'm fine with challenging early. Gonna look for demos here as I rotate through and just keep going around. Stay behind my teammate, right? He looks awkward, so notice how I'm getting a soft touch. And I'm taking it slow. When the defense is slow, like everybody sees this ball in the air, right? And you just want to insta-jump. Everybody's insta-jumping here. Why would I pre-jump when I could get the ball close to the net and just guide it right in? And then if he challenges low, I go high. If he goes high, as you saw, I went low. He's going to get a good 50. I'm not going to full commit just because maybe I beat him there, but I prefer to just play it safe. And oh. even if my teammates a diamond two and they're champs, I can't be breaking that, that rule on camera. Definitely get some bad juju. All right, we'll keep going for kickoffs. Hold power slide. I'm going to get ball here. And because my teammates back, I'm going to challenge early. Because I got the boost, I have to challenge early, even though... Right, I'm like the high rank player. I don't want to challenge. If you grab boost, you got to go early. I mean, that's just that's just a rule. And so we'll win game one. And now we're going to let our teammate go first. Going to time the bounce so this goes up. And I kind of messed up my shot. So I'm just going to hit it in the air and delay and rotate out as quick as possible. Once I see this ball go into my corner, I am fine with continuing it there. Right? Because my corner is safe. Nobody's challenging me here. So I'm just going to stay with it. Keep low 50-ing. I thought my teammate was going to go there, but that's totally fine if he backs off. I would love to be behind him. Looks like they're in a rule one, so now I have to play safe. This guy almost goes crazy. And now, here's where I get clipped on. And then, here come the YouTube comments. He keeps trying to bump me. This guy's a menace. Nice, I got boost. He doesn't know. Play it around. Should be okay. I'm just infinite defense here. <laughs> Get a good 50 and this should be a goal. Oh, he's back in time. We'll play corner. And now Luke is just 1v1ing. <laughs> Can't break this. <laughs> Respect to these guys. They know they're on camera. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Whoa. How is that not a demo? <laughs> oh my God. Let's try again. Now it's a demo. <laughs> uh, terrible. How do you like it? My teammate's back behind, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to commit if I don't have to. They're champs, so they're just gonna drive the ball into my corner for me and, and continuously clear it. Thank you. And now I pass right to them. <laughs> but that's the point of this. I'm washed. We all know this. The point of the series is to show you that even if you do stuff like that, if you play the map well, you can still win. Get a solid kickoff. My teammate's going to be a little slow here, but he actually, uh, he, I think he gets it by him, which is nice. This guy might have one touch. Wait, my teammate. <laughs> Adrian's a beast. He's going to grab boost. It looks like Adrian's rotating out. But once again, I'm just going to buy time. I could probably play a little more aggro there, but I just, I, I really want to drive home how staying behind your teammates is everything when they're lower ranked. I have a feeling he's going to early chow. And I thought I flicked it by him, but that's all right. My teammate looks awkward back here. And, uh... Oh! He gets a crazy, crazy clear. I was gonna say, that's what happens when you leave your teammate alone, but don't speak too soon. They get a nice pass back. My teammate should have. I'm dodging demo here because I hear him. 
hear him going. And I just want to play back. I don't want to push up too far. Now my teammate's back post, so I'm going to go high. Notice how I use the wall there to get high, even though I have no boost. And he's going slow, so I want to split this up. Teammate should have. I have time to grab corner boost here. Corner boost is nowhere to be found. This might be uh, awkward. He doesn't get too good of a shot, so I can clear it to the corner. I still have no boost, but I got to play the ball. I can't just leave the ball there, right? So if we get scored on here, it's my fault. Ugh, almost able to get back in time. Ball's going to go to the corner. I need to jump just to kind of delay here, kind of play this out, kind of play it slow. I'm going to stay alive. My teammate's getting bumped around. We're going to have to play a little bit more aggro than I like to here just because my teammate's out of the play. Going to get a soft. It's okay. Hits it off the backboard. We'll have to delay a little bit for him to rotate back now. Going to get a half flip challenge. And now that we have one beat, we're going to move up the field as fast as possible. Going to keep driving through. Looking for demos. I want my teammate to go, but that's all right. Okay, that's fine. He's going to hit it into the corner. Just playing back here. He wants a demo, so I'm staying on my wall as long as I can. He made it very obvious he wanted a demo on me. Hit over one. Now that we beat one, we can maybe move up field fast. They're still looking for demos. And that should be a goal. No. Looks like he got a bump on me. That's all right. We'll play to the side here. Ball's going to go here. I normally don't like challenging in a situation like that, but we've got to... We've got to maintain some initiative. We're, we're running out of time, so my teammates got to challenge here. We've got to just go for the ball. I don't know what he's doing. That's all right, though. And we'll go down in game two. So, I mean, yeah, if if I don't play well um, and I made a lot of mistakes that game, we're going to lose. We're at a disadvantage, but hopefully you guys see, like, if I do play those situations a little better, maybe don't have some mechanical mistakes and convert my opportunities, we should win that game. Ball goes to the side. We're going to grab boost. We need to get behind our teammate as quick as possible and assume he's just getting completely beat here, right? And that we're going to have to take over. We can get a soft touch and at least stay on the ball, holding power slide to recover. I'm looking for bumps here. As I'm rotating through, grabbing boost, coming out. Not much here, so I'm just going to go back, grab boost, see what he does. He kind of side flips, so maybe I can go for a shot. Um, I kind of left my teammate back for a second here, so if we get scored on, it's my fault. Trying to buy time. He kind of passes here. They might early challenge, so I'm just going to hit high, and that might be a goal. I can only double jump and get it over one. If my teammate can finish, let's go. You see? Come on. Sometimes you don't have to score. You just need to get the slight beat, and that's reaction time. I don't know if there's anything teachable there, but once we do get a breakaway, you have to play fast. If we, if we get like any 1v1 or 2v1 opportunity, you'll notice I'm just playing very fast. Wow, I thought he lost that ball. If we get scored on, it's my fault. Like, I sort of have to challenge here, but um, I thought he lost this ball, so I just went for it, but I should know that preflip's coming. If I leave my teammate back alone and he could score on, it's it's my fault every time. Like, and this is something, and this should be your mentality, whether you're whether you have a lower ranked teammate or whether you're just playing solo queue. Like, that's just how it is. So here I'm just playing slow. I'm trying to show my teammate I have no boost and I'm not committing, right? Because then when they do hit the ball, I can get back around, uh, and we'll be fine. Gonna let my teammate go. Maybe he doesn't have boost. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this ball up the wall here quickly. And then I hear another guy going, so I just look for another beat. My teammate has an open. Ooh, nice shot. I, I After I said my teammate has an open, I was, I was convinced he was going to miss. The reason I jumped immediately, even though I had no visual cue, is right. heard the audio comm of him taking off off the ground, so I knew I just had to get a pre-flip and beat or something. Uh, so we're going to go for a kickoff. He kind of messes up the kickoff. Uh, delays, and then we just get scored on. Oh, Adrian with a great save. I'm going to fake this touch here, and I can get one soft touch and hit it over. Being good at dribbling is not about staring at the ball. It's about staring at your opponent. So, like, that whole play, I'm just, I'm not actually trying to, I'm not, like, set on going for a flick or going for a bounce dribble. I'm just staring at my opponent and seeing what they do and just waiting, listening for them. Where, where did that boost go? What? I'm so confused. So normally I would go back post here, but because my teammate's awkward, I'd rather stay and keep my car facing towards the net. It's a little bit better. Here, I'm just going to let boost spawn. I get a low 50. My teammate should have. Nice. He hits it up into the corner. This is kind of a toss, but I can look for a demo here. We get one. Now I'm just going to rotate back around quick. My teammate looks awkward, so I'm just going to get in the way. 
Make sure they don't have a free net. My teammate is awkward again, so I just need to get in the way. Make sure they don't get anything for free. And this guy's gonna probably let it roll up the wall, and then I can demo him, maybe. He takes it across. Which is a good idea. The minute you see somebody take it across like that, though, you want to start denying them boost. Do not let somebody take the take the ball across uncontested. I think I have this guy beat. We do. And we can probably score that. I feel like if you want to get through Diamond and Champ, one of the best ways is being able to do those like fast aerials that happen on your side of the field. You, you know, you've been getting attacked for a while and you need to finally clear it. I really want my teammate to go because he went and took the corner boost, right? I'm just going to have to trust the teammate to get the clear there because I have no boost, right? He misses. That's fine. Just going to make sure I get a good 50. Take it into the corner. Control the boost. And I think that's in. Yeah, that's in. When you're playing with a lower ranked player, you're going to spend a lot of time on defense, right? Or if your teammate is just, you know, not as good, you're going to spend a lot of time on defense. So the way you often score with this defensive play style is like those quick breakaways. It's, you know, they overcommit and you got to punish them quick. You got to get a wall shot to score it. You got to get a fast aerial to beat them. That's how you beat these, you know, teams that are, you know, on paper, maybe better. It's, it's these little beats right here. Fortunately, ran out of steam. It should be fine. We have boost now, so I'm just going to play super patient. Adrian is getting tons of bumps. Uh, I could have scored that if I just shoot the ball, but I wanted to get fancy and go for go for bumps and that. Adrian did a great job there. I should not be committing upfield like this with no boost. If we get scored on, it is my fault. That is exactly what you should not do. That is how we scored on them this whole game. It's these like really early challenges. That's my bad, right? Adrian gets a good touch. I'm kind of just watching clear here because I know he has full boost. Making sure they don't get anything for free. Holding power slide and recovering back as quick as possible. And watching shot still. I should have this off wall. Just going to buy time, right? Eventually get a boom. Bump him. Keep rotating around. I always want my lower ranked teammate to go first. Always playing behind here. Because then if he gets flicked, that's fine. I'm the one back. Once he overcommits, though, I am going to try to turn this ball around the field quick. Adrian's going to go. It's all right. He gets a nice pass. I'm going to let him go, though. I'm low boost, so if he misses, that's fine. Surprised I didn't get a demo there or there. That's all right. Adrian gets a good 50. I'm just going to grab this. Watch recenter. Just be careful it's not coming right in my net and block the angle. And that should be game. Keep it up. Be a good sport. My bad. My bad. GG's, guys. So, morals of the story. When you're playing with a lower ranked teammate, you're going to be on defense. So, what are we doing? We're staying behind. We're not over committing on, you know, when we're on offense. And the little breakaways that we do get, the minute things turn into a 2v1, if they just overextend a little, you play super fast and you hope for the best. That was a masterclass on smurfing. I'm Luke. I'm also washed and I lost a game, but nobody saw that right? Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. In all seriousness, I am interested to know if you made it to this point in the video, tell me what would make these Smurf videos better. Would you like me playing 3v3? Would you like me in voice comms? Would you like some sort of handicap? Or is there just a completely better way to do this? Or am I just an asshole for Smurfing on Diamonds and Champs? I don't know. Probably the last one. In any case, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.